video will, will be trained to Glenn Waverley. I hope you enjoy. As usual, let's start with some history. The Tates were introduced in the 1910s as be pulled by, were pulled by steam engines, and in the 1920s they were converted to electric operation following the ent entrance of electricity. This set was restored by steam rail recently and is a six four car set. There's second and first class seating, and the Tates were, were drawn from service in 1980s. I, I hope you enjoyed this run on the Tate out to Darling on the Glen Waverley line. <laughs> on this line compared to other lines which I found interesting so th I really heard the train revving the motors as it went up the hill <laughs> I'm not very familiar with the Green Waverly line. I hope you like this new editor. I'll be using it from now on. This is Premiere Pro. It took some while to get used to, but it's pretty good. It's much better than the original editor which I was using, which has been CapCut, which I find is better for shorter videos rather than the longer videos I produce. I hope you like this new editor I'm using. I really like it. It's called um, Premiere Pro. It's much better than the original editor I'm using, which is CapCut. <laughs> Cool part to vi the video. This was the crossover when the train went up. It went on the up line, which is line to Flint Street. Then it went over the crossover at Darling to go back to Glen Waverley. I thought it was cool to video. And I also got my camera out the window, which was cool. Rather than looking through the window, you can get a better shot out the window. I found you can't do that on modern trains, which is cool. It's not good that you can't do it on modern trains, but it's cool you can do it on these um tights.